Hello, today I will show you how to uh, set up hacking tools uh, to make things easier post installation process. Instead of doing like this, uh, I must show you because I got the installer on my hard drive. Because post installation is a little bit more difficult. I got uh, kernels. I got, I use the kernel Ryzen. I'm just looking for post installation process. I got this. What you have to do, instead of using commands, if you have got more than one hard drive, because I swap my hard drives between Mac OS and uh, Windows, you don't do that. Uh, because I have got much much easy way to do that. Instead of doing this, this is still important for somebody who finds it easy. What, what I do uh, after when I installed Hackintosh post installation, I open trans Mac. Run as administrator. Because I got kernel in my trans Mac, what you need to do to go system, I call it in my Mac OS like this. Again, you go to system, library, kernels. You what you have to do now, uh, delete your kernel, kernel fast. I didn't really have to because I already did that, but I will show you. You have to input kernel Ryzen. What, what you do? Don't leave the uh, name of file the same. R rename it to kernel. And you will put back to its original place instead of that original kernel. Because only kernel Ryzen will help you to boot Mac OS. And this is first file, what you have to boot instead of original kernel. Now, after what you have to do, go to prelink the kernel, remove prelink the kernel. Why? Because you will be able to boot your Mac. You cannot have original prelink the kernel. Re relinked a uh, kernel must be removed because this is our hard drive. I took this hard drive out of computer and you can put it back to your computer again and now you will be able to boot macOS Sierra AMD Hackintosh AMD Sierra 4.5 because I got kernels Files. I think I have got post in where I where I got post installation. There are uh, folders. And my mouse really annoys me. Uh, where is it? I'm looking for folder post installation. Uh, where I left this? Oh no! I left somewhere else. I think I got already, I need to check, because this is my installer, where I have this. Because after when you install your Mac, you need to have bootloader. Now you will be able to boot your operating system, because you, we replaced kernels. I'm just looking for folder called post installation. Her link and the kernel has been removed and after that you should boot your operating system. Okay. Uh, where I left this? Uh, quite important folder for me. I think I got it somewhere else on my hard drive. I cannot remember. Probably on one of the hard drives. I have to turn 
for another hard drive on because I have to mention about something I formatted the two Mac operating system trans Mac will help you this is important program but I have to show you in another hard drive I keep a post installation folder but I, I try to find this Mm, where I left this? Oh yes, I got this. I found it already. Ah, I have to move. No, what I do? What I am doing? Oh no! Uh, no, because I have to open this folder to show you this first installation folder. I got it. This is what you need. Okay, first installation extra we got text, uh, uh, required files, all drivers, you have to use text utility, instead of using what I showed you, you can do transmac program, because it will, it will do things easier for you, I think, actually this is still important another command post install is related to that folder what i showed you but what i was thinking to do instead of doing this i can copy i think i could copy to my system already this works better i think system library extensions hmm and you copy your files just here. It should work, okay? Now because I prefer to do through Transmac, now I should be able to boot up my hacking cache easily. You still have to use a USB installer to get to Mac OS hacking cache. But this will help you to boot this operating system because it will reveal the uh, pre-link kernel you have to remove all the kernel in in order to in order this new pre-link kernel to work <laughs> 